So guys, the DJI Mavic Air, we think, is going to be unveiled tomorrow. It's gonna to be the latest drone from DJI. It's no joke that they are the best drone maker in the business, like no one can stand a chance. Everyone always looks forward to the drones that come out from them because they're always a game changer. They're always good quality, have good range, good video, good battery life, everything like that. So today I'm gonna to talk about what we know about the DJI uh, Mavic Air so far and where it falls in the lines of the tiers of all the different drones, which one should you get? Should you be disappointed if you just picked up the Mavic Pro? Okay, so what we know about the DJI Mavic Air is that it basically falls in between the Mavic Pro and the Spark, like in the totem pole of the DJI lineup of consumer drones. So what the Mavic Air is supposed to have, it's supposed to have a 4K camera, which is an upgrade from the Spark. The Spark has a 1080p camera. The Mavic Pro has a 4K at 30 frames per second. People are hoping that the Mavic Air has 4K at 60 frames. I just don't know if they'll be able to do that. And if they do manage to do that, like how is the video quality going to be? As far as battery life goes, again, it's gonna fall between the Spark and the Mavic Pro. The battery life is gonna be the like, very low 20 minute range where the Mavic Pro is 27 minutes, the Mavic Pro Platinum is 30 minutes, and then the Spark is more along like the 15 minute line. So all across the board, the Mavic Air is just like the middle between the uh, Mavic Pro and the Spark. A few things we don't know quite yet that hasn't been confirmed. We don't know the price. So the price, people are thinking like maybe $699, so that will fall in between the Spark and the Mavic. What I'm hoping is that the price is like $499 without a controller. And then if you want a controller, you can pay extra. But fingers crossed is that it has the same technology as the Mavic Pro, so you can use the same controller that would be crazy, a crazy good deal for people that already have the Mavic Pro. I hope that they don't pull like an Apple and try to make a different technology just to sell us different accessories and stuff like that. Also, what I'm hoping the Mavic Air borrows from its big brother, the Mavic Pro, is that it has the ability to plug in a USB cable directly to the controller. The Spark, you have to do it through Wi-Fi or you have to do it through an OTG cable which I think DJI got rid of in an update. I just don't like that you have to use a dongle to use a cord to connect to your controller. The Mavic Pro, you just connect it directly to the controller. You get the best live video feed that way. So we're hoping the Mavic Air does the same thing. Also an upgrade, the Spark um, has a two axis gimbal and then the Mavic Pro has a three axis gimbal. So everyone's hoping and we pretty much have confirmed that the Mavic Air is gonna have a three axis gimbal which should make um, video quality much better. Especially when flying in sports mode with the Spark, the gimbal is very apparent at how just bad it is in certain situations. So the three axis gimbal should help with that. And apparently the Mavic Air is gonna be available in different colors. So the Spark is um, available in like blue, red, white, black, yellow maybe. And then the Mavic Pro was originally just not available in any colors. And now you can get the platinum or like the special edition white. So the uh, Mavic Air is definitely borrowing from the Spark in a sense that there's a lot more colors available. So basically in closing, the best way to visualize this new DJI Mavic Air is combine the Mavic Pro, take the Spark, take the foldable arms of this, Put it in this, make it a little bit bigger than this, but not as big as this. Um, take the 4K camera, put it in here, take the 3 axis gimbal, put it in here, take the colors of this, put it in here. <laughs> They're just kind of combining the best of both worlds. It should have obstacle avoidance, front, back, bottom. Um, yeah, so it's gonna look to be a great drone. A lot of people's um, biggest gripe is that DJI is making too many drones for too many price points, but hey, like, they're probably making a killing. They're monopolizing the whole market. Like, all of their drones are great. So, hell, they have like, what, three, $499 drone here, $899 to $1,000 drone here. They're gonna have a $699 drone with the Mavic Air, theoretically, and then with the Phantom 4 Pro, that's like $1,000, $1,500 drone. 
Um, and then they have the Inspire line, which is three thousand to like ten to fifteen thousand dollars with all the different accessories. So that's all I can say about that, guys. Um, we will wait until tomorrow to get the official word on what the Mavic Air is going to be like. Of course, I'm going to pick one up. I'm a tech reviewer. I love DJI products. I've learned to love them very quickly over about the past year. Um, let me know in the comment section below, like, are you going to pick one up? If you are going to pick one up, do you already own one of these two drones? Does it fill a gap that I'm missing? Does it get you excited? I want to know. Um, let me put these back. I hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy the announcement tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I believe. Have a great night. Bye.